Hello and welcome to this short presentation on geography through the Joint Honours Route at Trinity College Dublin. My name is Iris Muller and I'm Professor of Geography and Head of Department of Geography at Trinity College. Now geography you can do with us through two routes. There used to be three routes but in 2021 these will be condensed into two routes. Um, there's the Joint Honours Route and the geography and geoscience route. You'll see in the middle of this slide that there's also the political science and geography route that will be rolled on, rolled into the joint honours route in 2021. Now, if you want to do geography alongside another subject in the arts and humanities under the joint honours programme, then you will come through that joint honours route um, and you will do um, a number of, of different subjects with geography, or one of a number of different subjects with geography. You can see some examples in the left hand um, side of the slide here, and political sciences will appear there then in 2021. You will study both subjects equally until the start of the junior sophistry year, and then you choose um, to continue with joint honours in both subjects, or you specialise in a single honours, or you take either of the subjects as a major minor combination. Geography and geoscience is another two subject combination that you will take through, that you can take through the sciences um, and that is covered in a separate presentation. But with that as well, you will spend the final two years of your degree specializing in either geography or geoscience. And if you specialize in geography, then you are encountering the same modules as when you come through this joint honours route. Now, geography is truly interdisciplinary um, and the foundation year in your freshest year's time here at Trinity really it illustrates that for you. There are three key modules here and that is Spaceship Earth, the Anthropocene and Human Geography. And these are really designed to give you an introduction into how the Earth systems function under Spaceship Earth. This is absolutely critical if you want to understand environmental change, if you want to understand why our Earth and our um, landscapes are configured in the way they are configured at the present time, and where they are likely to change as we move into the future, a future that is largely um, dominated by um, aspects such as global climate change, but also environmental degradation um, and a lot of um, issues that have arisen out of the dominance of humans on this planet. And that's where the second module comes in, the Anthropocene, the time on Earth where humans have become extremely influential, so influential that arguably they are now a global force of environmental change. Human geography is the third uh, pillar here, which introduces you to two fundamental concepts within geography, and those are uh, the concepts of society and space. These are really core to um, geography as a discipline, and you gain your foundation in this first year. As you move into the second year, um, there are five key modules here that build on that first year foundation. We introduce you then to the history and philosophy of geography. Geography is such a fascinating subject. And when you dig down into the origins of where it's actually come from, you will surprise yourself um, in how topical and how um, relevant to the present day those historic roots actually are. Uh, the second module listed on here, the spatial data and GIS, is really introducing you to some of the core practical um, elements of geography in the modern world. These have um, an absolutely fundamental relevance to your um, life beyond Trinity. These are fundamental skills that you cannot leave any geography degree without. Um, and then in the third module here, uh, we have human geography changing worlds, which extends the human geography module from the first year and starts to look really at the dynamism of society, the economy and the political foundations of our changing world today. So you're getting into, get into a little bit more detail there. And the same is true for physical geography, dynamic earth. This is where you will learn about the dynamism on our uh, planet in um, the more sort of regional and local context. How does water, how does ice 
uh, move across the planet? Um, how do the winds and the biota and the, the biological influences on our landscape systems affect what they look like and how we might manage them? What is the role of extreme events within all this? You know, how do storms affect our environment and how humans are affected by them? So Geography Student Seminars, finally then in your second year, teaches you the practice of geography. And it does that by involving some of our really dynamic young um, geographers within the department who would teach you about how um, geographical techniques are applied in particular contexts. And you're learning that because ultimately in your third year, you will become scholars of geography. You will start to do your own dissertations and you will want to learn how you answer very specific questions that we also provide modules with um, for, for you in terms of supporting you in answering these types of questions. So questions like how do geographical information systems work? How do you conduct research in geography? Your dissertation and re a residential field course alongside day long field courses in a number of modules will um, really bring you very close to the practice of geography here. You will also learn to um, get insights into questions like what is a sustainable city? You know, how do you make a city sustainable? Um, what about the urban economy or, or the economy in general? If there, are, if there is economic change, uh, who gets left behind? We are living in very dynamic times at the moment economically, uh, not least through the impact of COVID. Um, what is the effect on our society? Globalisation, who controls what in the world and what role do geopolitics play in our society? How do we govern to achieve a fair and sustainable world? And what is the impact of environmental change? For example, sea level rise on our coasts. How can we live with that? How can we use remote sensing and digital technologies to better understand and manage our environment and our society? And why and how does our environment change, our climate change, and over what timescales? How do we study that and what clues are in our landscape to make us appreciate how environmental change has happened in the past and how it might change in the future so that we can adapt and mitigate against it? You'll see from all that that your journey will really only start with us and it's most likely to continue throughout your life. Because geography really matters, there are jobs in all sorts of areas of society and all sorts of sectors. There are jobs in the political, social and economic and financial institutions around you. There are jobs in environmental management, both in the private and the public sector in journalism, in the media more generally, in non-government organisations, and many, many more. And if you want a glimpse of where geography can take you, I would um, suggest that you have a look at the Royal Geographical Society's webpage, www.rgs.org. Um, there are career profiles on there um, and many examples of um, students have ex expressed their experience of studying geography at university. And of course there is us at Trinity who are all there to answer your questions, not just during the open day, but please do visit us on the open day. Um, we have many of our staff present during the day. Uh, there is a, a blog page that you should have a look at, planetjobblog.wordpress.com and of course our web page tcd.ie forward slash geography. Last but not least, Please do take a look, look also at our Twitter account at TCD underscore geography and our Instagram TCD dot, uh, underscore geography, all in lowercase. We very much look forward to seeing you there. We look forward to seeing you during the open day. And of course, we look forward to seeing you at Trinity College studying geography with us in the not too distant future. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.